Hey man, it's your boy Tyler Boogie. <laughs> I know y'all ain't never seen me like this, but I'm just sitting here and I'm just thinking as I'm sitting here on this pad, you know, I got a message by one of my friends. She told me that one of her friends had passed. And um, basically, you know, something happened to the dude, but it just got me thinking like how much, how many things we sit here and we worry about throughout our days, like, and life is just short. Like I have a lot of friends that have passed since high school. And when I think about it, I'm like, damn, they none of them think that their life will be gone before the age of 30. You know, everybody promises their best days to be their days that are later. You know, like, oh yeah, my life sucks right now, but it'll be better when I'm 30. It'll be better when, listen, man, life is about perspectives. If you can't find happiness in today, you have nothing promised. T tomorrow is is not promised. It's very cliche to hear that, but it's it's the most it's the most realest saying that there is because that is enough peace in itself. Because when you think about everything that you really stress about, the caring about how somebody else feels about you, caring about why somebody else didn't do you right, that's somebody else's life. When you pass, when you when you, when it's your time. You're the only one that's laying down, you know, you and somebody else is not going to be in, the, in there by yourself. So you got to make the best out of this time as possible. You can sit here and think about your life right now. Like, dang, how many people you have you you lost or the people that if, even if it wasn't a lot, just think about the time that that person had. And it's like, what would that person do to trade those times that they were stressing for just a time to just be like, you know what? I just want to sit down and just smile. Why do, why do we have to wait till it's too late to sit here and to, why do we wait till it's too late to be like, damn, we wish we would have smiled more. We wish we would have enjoyed more times with, with a person. Why not just find the happiness in what we already have? Like telling yourself, oh, my life is going to be better once I get a mansion. It's like, okay, but what if you, ne God forbid, what if you just never get that mansion? Can you be ha all, all, can you be happy in your apartment? Can you find happiness in your apartment? Now, I mean, I, I feel like we would be so much happier as, just as people, if we could find happiness where we are now. Because when you think about it, yo, the celebrities, we sit here and glorify the lives that celebrities live because they have so much money or just rich people. But we know a lot of rich people that die of overdose of drugs. And what do drugs do? Drugs take you away from the present because you don't like how your life is right now. So you take a drug to make your reality feel better. But in our eyes, to people that's not in the, the, the position of riches and, you know, fame and living in these in these places that we one day want to live. We're like, well, that is the peace. No, the peace comes from within. You got to be able to find that from within. Or another thing I hear a lot of people say is, oh, if I could just find a companion, I'll be a lot more happy. That stuff, we're looking for something that literally comes from within. That does not come from somewhere else. That comes from inside us. Now, I mean, it has to come from inside. Or you like a lot of people get in relationships and they're trying to they're like, oh, I, I you know, um, this person doesn't make me happy. Nobody should be able to make you happy. Now I mean, nobody should be able to make you happy. There should be none of that. Hold on a second, the medics is pulling up. <laughs> oh, no, I'm good, man, appreciate it. But yeah, nobody should be able to make you happy. You should already be happy, and then somebody else just adds to your happiness. But what does it mean? Like, that's like, I use the example of this. If I have a million dollars, somebody gives me $500,000, I have money without you giving me your 500,000. But being that you gave me 500,000, I have more. But if you take your 500,000 away, I still have money. I still have my happiness, even if you're not here, you know? But being that we are so reliant on external things to be the uh, the root to our happiness, our happiness is, is, is constantly, it's easily, it's, it's, it's easy to just leave us. It leaves us easily because it's coming externally. Now, I mean, happiness has to come from internally. Now, I mean, you have to fix whatever's going on inside of you to enjoy what's outside of you. Now, I mean, you can't 
acquire things you like i got a i got a i got a nice car i got a nice house i got a beautiful daughter i got so many beautiful things i got good money you know what i mean well well that i didn't have at one point and still i have moments where i'm like damn like something's missing and what's missing is what's inside man and why wait until it's too late to be like, damn, you know what? Let me enjoy life now. If you ever talked to, like I talked to this guy the other day um, for this boxing class, he had a heart transplant. And he was like, like you know, I flatlined. He, he said he flatlined and, and everything. Like he was just telling me his whole experience on how like it was detrimental for him. I mean, it was to the point where he didn't think he was going to survive. His family was prepared for him not to survive, you know, the heart transplant and everything. But he was like, being that he did, he looked at life differently. Like, man, I got to enjoy every day because my days was almost over. And everything that he stressed about, it, 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 he opened his eyes to it. Like, that stuff really don't matter. Like, literally me sitting here right now worried about whether or not somebody is judging me on holding a camera, talking to the camera with this helmet on. It's like, it can, it'll linger in my mind and then I'll remember why that doesn't even matter because either a they may not even be thinking about me b they could be thinking about me but neither of those change what i'm doing how i feel about what i'm talking about none of those change i mean and none nothing about somebody else's opinion on me is definite so why would i live in a world full of trying to um appease to everybody if i can never appease everybody that's impossible for every person that's doing great they have a hater. I mean, so the best thing to do is to just say, you know, forget what people think. You know, forget. What, I'm gonna live this life to the fullest. Not wait until I'm, um, you know, I had a I had a close call, and then I was like, you know what? Let me start living life. I live life in a way of like before. God forbid, if something bad was to happen, like, and then I survive. I live before that can happen for me to be like, oh, I, I enjoyed, I, I, let me start enjoying my life now. Y'all, life is short, man. Life is way too short to be worried every day about a girl, worried about every day about a guy. And let me tell you something, y'all. We're all living in a day where we want, we want to feel peace. We want to feel happiness. If you're somebody that, that looks at like life is too short, I'd just rather be happy. Now, I mean, like if you have that attitude, more people want to be around you. But if you're constantly stressing about the small things, people will will, will see that you'll be become more stressed to them because everybody has stress that's going on in their heads. So it's like everybody wants to have that feeling of life's too short. I'm just going to be peaceful. Now, I mean, everybody wants to have peace. If you can be peaceful people will just gravitate towards you because it's like wow you're a breath of fresh air to know that peace is out there how did you do it now i mean people will just want to be around you but constantly dwelling on the bad and finding similarities with other people that have bad in their life and you're like okay well we have we have something in common let's go about that that's that'll easily mm -hmm. die because that's not a good feeling to sit there and dwell on what's bad in life nobody wants to sit here and dwell on what's bad you know, unless you can joke about it, you know, like, but sitting, that, making that your similarities with people, it's just, it's not cool. Everybody wants to get out of feeling the bad, the bad ways that they're feeling. So if you want to be a, a likable person, which um I would say don't really so much worried about being a likable person. The thing that makes you a likable person is liking yourself. If you don't like yourself, you're you're constantly looking for somebody to like you. People realize that and you become somebody that's like like you're you're needy. You become a needy person. But when it's like, mm, nah, I don't mind go taking a walk by myself. People look at you from a distance and they they applaud that. They may not always say that. So while you're thinking in your head, oh, people will look at me weird. How do you know that? How do you know that there's not a little a, a little kid in that room that's like, wow, I want to be just like that. I want to be independent and free from other people's opinions because life is too short. The title of this video, man, is Life is Too Short. Enjoy it while we got it, man. Because before you know it, it's over, man. It's over. And I, if I could pass anything down to my kids, like, yeah, we sit here and like, especially, you know, 
like we sit here and we talk about okay i want to pass you know um money down assets you know that stuff is beautiful you know i think that's that's a great thing to pass down down the family line build generational wealth i love that but there's nothing better than peace there's nothing better than teaching somebody how to be peaceful and how to how to look at a situation and still find your individual peace in that you know what i mean not go find it by being with somebody else finding your individual peace go be by yourself and still be peaceful put your phone down and not have no judgment by anybody and still be happy with yourself you know what i mean when when everybody looks at you like mm, you look crazy you, you still feel peace within yourself you know what i mean because you're finally doing what you desire to do for instance if you are like let's just say you you are a known football player but you really like to read novels you really like to read books I mean, read a book, man. If that's what brings you peace, do that. Like me, a hidden, a hidden thing about me that nobody knows. I, I was a basketball player. I um, well, that's not hidden. I was a basketball player. I've been a social media influencer for some years now. Nobody knows that I find a lot of peace in just skating. Like I actually just learned this about myself. There's a couple of things that I just want to learn how to do: skating, boxing, and playing the piano. Nobody know that about me. They see my tattoos, they see my hoodie, they see my do-rag. They're like, oh, he probably, he's probably with the hype. Nah, man, those things bring me internal peace. Therefore, I can enjoy the external more. I hope this video resonated with somebody. Hey, man, as I always say, you know, it's your boy, Top Boogie. I love the community that we've created of just people that's willing to find that, that peace within, you know, and, um... And, and, you know, to dudes that's, you know, getting advice on how to deal with women. Yo, this is this is one of the perfect ways women like. <laughs> let, me, let me drop a gem on y'all real quick. <laughs> like, yo, listen. If I know anything about women, I know women love to talk. Women go through things and they feel. They feel a lot more than we do. We are very much logical. So a lot of things that they feel, we're like, why do you even feel like that? But listen, they feel. You know what I mean? So think about that. When you're feeling down, when you're feeling bad, what you want around you is somebody that is level-headed and peaceful enough to kind of like bring you back to the middle. Not, you know, level you, like like bring you to a higher level mm -hmm. with total agreement of how bad your situation is. Just somebody that can just be a woosa, a breath of fresh air when you talk to. And not me, because you can find peace through any situation. You know, so if you want to, you know, I know dudes watch my videos and they, you know, they want to know how to get girls too. Yo, look, having that internal peace within that, that life is too short attitude. It'll have you looking at everything different. Like life's too short. That's literally about to be my new phrase. Life is too short. People, I want, I want to get to the point where people be like, yo, bro, like, how do you stay so mellow? Like, how do you stay so happy, bro? Cause life is too short. Like, I know people that life was short for them. You know what I mean? I know people that life was short for them. And that's the, that's a fact. Because we're alive and you're able to watch this video, you're like, yeah, life is short, but X, Y, and Z. Like, I'm still here, so I can't really relate to somebody that their life was short. You don't think that people lose their life every day and they're, they are the result of a short life? I don't want to be nobody's Debbie Downer, but I want y'all to look at it from a real eye like dang am i really living a life where i'm dwelling on things that really won't matter or am i living a life full of my happiness you know what i mean full of just grace and gratitude am i living that life or am i dwelling on everything that's bad in my life find your peace man and live in that dang man they messing up they messing up bad I want to show y'all what we're doing. I'm going to show y'all a little glimpse of what we're doing. So, you see these cones right here? Like, we kind of, we got to back up this truck. And then these cones, I ain't going to lie. I finally got it, but it was not easy. I did it about six, seven times today. But, yeah, man, um, let me go ahead and get off this phone. I just want to share, share that with y'all. Everything I share with y'all, I want it to come from a genuine place. So, you know, I, I seen the comments in the last video, and it was compelling me to make another video. But... <laughs> It was. I, it felt so forced. I was like, "This is not coming from where I want it to come from." And I mean, I want the video to flow. I want to feel it. I want. I want it to come from my true thoughts, not just something I just learned and I'm ready to pass out. You know. Um. 
again there's a book that i'm reading it's called the power of now and i want to do a, like like you know a, like a series where we kind of break that down it keeps you on being present keeps you peaceful keeps you enlightened and got me a, a like real deep in my enlightenment journey um and it really helped me so if y'all want to do that whatever just let me know hey man download the the link in my description below it's my fitness app and leave a comment if this video helped you too man hey man it's your boy ty boogie until the next video i'm out of here man peace